Your fans want you to know that they really miss you and love you, Paul. Thank you so much, Paul, for coming through. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's me, Cody here, and today we're going to be attempting to reach out to the spirit of Paul Walker. Now, for those of you who would like a little bit of context uh, in case you don't know who Paul is, Paul was an actor who starred in a lot of different movies, mainly known for his role in Fast and Furious. Just like Paul's role in the movies, he had a deep love and passion for vehicles and racing. Unfortunately, in 2013, Paul and his friend Roger were out for a drive um, when Roger, the driver, started racing. And it's unknown whether uh, Paul consented to him racing at the time, but uh, at the end of the day, they had gotten in a fatal uh, vehicle collision, which ended up killing both Roger and Paul. Now, surprisingly, not much is known about Paul's death. Uh, there's a lot of mystery surrounding the event, not many people were there to document what happened, and there have been a lot of conspiracy theories formulated around his death, suggesting that maybe he was set up by some of the, uh, quote, big guys, and whether that be people in the film industry or some other organizations, I'm not too sure. But I do get into asking Paul about this, and what he he says actually caused me to question myself what might have went on that day. Now I'm not a conspiracy theorist, I'm not claiming anything happened, but uh, it was just very interesting to hear these messages. Without any further ado, let's get straight into it. Paul, my spirit guides were able to confirm that you are here and that you are willing to speak. Are you able to come through and use this device? You can speak through this device. There are people around you. Do you like using this device, Paul? Can you use this device? It will be a source of hope. It's very interesting. Thank you for using this device. Somebody did mention that news sources say you were trapped in the car and that you were banging on the window for help. They wanted to hurt. Who wanted to hurt you, Paul? I'm going to switch things up a little bit and see if Paul can come through easier on this setting. What is it like where you are, Paul? You're on top of the world. That is very powerful. Wow. After all these years, have you made it to the light, Paul? You went into a depression. Anxiety and fear. It's a common problem. When spirits go to cross over, they don't know what to do. They don't know what's going on. They're scared. Were you able to get out of that state of depression, Paul? Such a place of growth. Now my next question was going to be, have you had a difficult journey on the other side? But uh, I think you've already just answered that question. Do you want to say anything else about that, Paul? This is very dark. I'm the only one left. I don't know what you mean by that, but uh, wow, that was very strong. Have you been watching over your your daughter, Meadow? Were you able to observe the crash site and everything happening after you died, Paul? It's too much for you. 
Is this too much for me? No, no, I'm just very relaxed right now. I'm meditating to try to allow you to come through easier. Were you able to observe the crash sites? Many people are wondering if you died quickly or if you died over a period of time from being trapped in the car. That was very powerful. Wow. Did you have a feeling you were going to die that day, Paul? All the feelings of hopeless. She fell asleep. Is my spirit guide George with you there, Paul? Is he helping you? Did you consent to carry each other? Were you able to take control of the vehicle? I know you said Roger was sleeping, or I think that's what you said. Were you able to take control of the vehicle to try to stop it? God wasn't doing anything either. Do you believe you were set up by somebody higher up, Paul? Who's on the brink of a who who would have set you up, Paul? Manager, director. The manager or director? I'm not sure what I just heard, but I think that was a reply. Your fans want you to know that they really miss you and love you, Paul. Thank you for your life. I don't deserve your love. Do you have any messages for your daughter, Meadow, your family? I want to encourage you to follow the God that gives hope. That's the best decision that you can make. You are coming through so clear, Paul. Wow. You're talking about, um, you're talking about God, too. I hear that a lot. This is amazing. Thank you so much, Paul. Is there anything you want to say before we close out the session, Paul? Thank you so much, Paul, for coming through. Wow, isn't that beautiful? I can't get over how clear and direct Paul came through at the end, let alone the quality of his messages that he left. They were so direct, so beautiful, and so heart-touching. If you like this video, maybe you'll like some of the other ones on screen right now.